Tonight, we know that inspectors are looking into what caused a roller coaster malfunction at one of Six Flags Great Adventure's most popular rides. They were back there out at El Toro today. We know 14 people were hurt last night. Five of them had to go to the hospital. News Force Brian Thompson live in Jackson, New Jersey, where Brian, I understand it's not the first mishap for that particular ride. No, it's not. It's a very fast ride, uh, up to 70 miles an hour at one point, reportedly. And certainly for those 14 people who suffered some sort of pain or discomfort or injury, it was a ride they won't soon forget. The closed signs marked both entrances to El Toro. Security at one of them telling me. Is El Toro open today? You know why? No idea. That's what state consumer affairs inspectors were looking into today, going over this wooden roller coaster, by reputation the largest in the nation, with the steepest vertical drop, says one fan. It's really fun, except the, the, like, the bad part is that like you get whipped around a lot because you go fast and you do uh, on some really tight turns. But last night, something went wrong. The state reporting witnesses heard a loud bang and then seeing it jolt. In all, 14 people complained of pain and five of them were transported to nearby medical facilities. Facilities. Today, inspectors trying to find the cause more than a year after this same coaster was shut down after a rear wheel mechanism lifted off the tracks. No one was injured in that incident, but Six Flags was fined $5,000 for not calling the incident in that very same day. El Toro was only reopened this spring. It's pretty fun. It's just that it can be, feel like kind of jittery or uh, kind of dangerous, like when you're on the seat. It's kind of... Uh, it's a rough ride. The shutdown of El Toro, not that surprising. Honestly, knowing how dangerous the ride is, I'm not that shocked that an accident like that would happen. While most of those I talked with said they would ride it again, one Long Island visitor gave that idea a thumbs down. You think after they fix it, you'll go on it again? Never. 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 It scares you that much? Yeah. You just don't think it's safe. It's not worth your life to, uh, or an injury for a roller coaster when there's a few other safer ones or not as crazy. But then a lot of people said they would ride it again. Now, we still haven't heard any word from Six Flags at this point. The state saying that they have no release yet for today. There is an interesting point here, though. Last year's incident, back in June of last year, they did determine a cause. But nobody will tell us. Six Flags says it's proprietary, and the state says it has to go along with that. So we may not find out the exact cause of this either. Live in Jackson, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York.